What is up everyone? My name is Andrea. If you don't know me, you should subscribe. But today I'm going to be doing a video where I recommend you some books based off of Conan Gray's songs. So basically these are songs off of Super 8, Conan Gray's new album, as books. I'm a huge fan of Conan Gray. I really like Super 8. I've listened to the whole album multiple times. I think it is a really good album. Um, there's a lot of like upbeat fun songs. There's a lot of sad heartbreak songs and I love them all. So um, I didn't do a book for every single song, just some of them. But what I I would recommend during this video if you have the time is um i'm gonna like tell you what song i'm recommending a book on if you want to go listen to it come back watch that one next song go listen to it come back watch that recommendation that would probably be the best way to view this video but if you don't want to do that it's fine um and i'm still going to give you some good book recs anyway so let's just get started okay first song we're going to do is movies movies is the opening song of super ache um it's a really cool song it's pretty much just about a person who wants a love like the movies like one of the lines is movies movies i want to love like the movies and for that i have a romance recommendation of course it's hook line and sinker by tessa bailey this is book two in the bellinger sister series you can read this one without reading the first one if you wanted to but for best reader experience you may want to read the first one i don't know but this one follows a girl named hannah bellinger she works in film like the film production team on movies and she definitely um wants a love like the movies because she is in love and has had a huge crush on a producer of one of the sets she's working on so it just fits so well i felt like wanting a love like the movie she works with movies it's like a thing in the book um and she's at work during the book so that whole thing is going on but you know as life goes you don't always get what you think you want so um there's another character in here named fox thornton who is actually her love interest you could say one of the love interest and um their story is pretty cool too so this one just reminded me of movies right off the bat okay next one is the song disaster and this one is a really fun one i could see it being like one of the ones played on the radio over and over because the like rhythm of it the sound is just really poppy and i feel like a lot of people like it but disaster is about it seems like from what i gather from the lyrics um like two friends or maybe one friend that's like in an unrequited love situation um where they are scared to tell somebody they love them because they don't want to ruin it because it could be a disaster if they don't love them back so for this one i'm gonna recommend the cheat sheet by sarah adams i absolutely adore this book the cheat sheet is a fake dating best friends to lovers story and it's so good it's about nathan and brie nathan is a nfl football player he's has a lot of money um he has like a revolving door of girlfriends but he doesn't ever put any of them in front of his best friend brie brie is like the number one girl in his life and if a girlfriend doesn't like her he'll get rid of the girlfriend for brie but they've just been best friends for so long that it's always been that way we get dual pov and right from the synopsis you learn that brie has a long-standing crush on nathan and nathan has a long-standing crush on brie but neither of them want to damage their best friendship so they have never done anything about it and they are now like fully adults and still haven't acted on any of these things any of these desires um and it's just so good and it definitely fits disaster especially this one line um this could be a disaster there's so many factors like what if you freak out and then we're losing it all at the critical chapter where i say i love you and you don't say it after this could be a disaster <laughs> that automatically made me think of nathan and brie because that is just their headspace like the whole time so please read the cheat sheet i really loved it okay next we have astronomy astronomy is a really beautiful like lovesick ballad i love it so much it's like slower um it's just beautiful astronomy is to me is pretty much about like two soulmates two people that should be together but aren't for whatever reason um and for this one i really wanted to mention morning star by pierce brown book three and the red rising trilogy so there's this one specific line in the song that goes we've traveled the seas we've ridden the stars we've seen everything from saturn to mars as much as it seems like you own my heart it's astronomy we're two worlds apart if you know anything about red rising you know it takes place in space it's about darrow um and a lot of other characters but just in regards to darrow the love relationship wise place he finds himself in is just it's literally these lyrics in this song and i cannot help but think of like the main relationship in this series when i hear the song because it's just 
literally Daryl and this other character are on separate planets they are like not on the same page and it's just it's frustrating but the, the relationship part of the book isn't the main part of the book so it's like not overpowering the rest of the story it's just like slowly and subtly heartbreaking but like it's it's not even the main part of the story it's not even the most like hurting part of the story but i just had to mention this because this song i associate with red rising so yeah okay so next i have the song yours which is somehow even more heartbreaking than any of the previous songs that conan wrote on super ache but yours is definitely about somebody who is in love with somebody else and they have gotten their heart broken they have gotten their heart thrown in the dirt and the other person does not care for this one i want to recommend only a monster by vanessa len only a monster is a really cool fantasy book that i heard of and read this year and i believe it just came out this year it's a fantasy like i said it has time traveling it has magic um and it has a kind of love triangle thing it also has a betrayal in a relationship um and all of that just made me think of this song especially this line which is I know I'm not the one you really love, I guess that's why I've never given up, because I could give you all you want, the stars and the sun, but I'm still not enough. All I really wanted was that look in your eyes, like you already know that I'm the love of your life, like you already know you're never saying goodbye, but I'm not yours. Yeah, uh, that's definitely, I think, a theme of the book um right from the beginning like you get a betrayal and you're not expecting it and the main character was definitely not expecting it and throughout the whole book because of the betrayal the main character is thrown into working with somebody else who is not her boyfriend um that she thought she would you know always have her back so it's a lot and then also has that kind of trope where the person like the love interest is actually like you're a monster but the love interest is a monster hunter that's an aspect of the book which is kind of cool but again betrayal and they didn't know these secrets and it doesn't work out so yeah check out only a monster if you haven't it's a really good new fantasy next we have jigsaw jigsaw is a very intense song it's really cool the way that it's produced like the sound of it it reminds me of a billy eilish song because it has like a chord where it sounds like a guitar but like a guitar that is like had its string snapped it's very guttural it's really cool um but jigsaw is just about um somebody doing everything they can to change who they are to fit a mold to fit what somebody else wants them to be and then like realizing like i've done all this to myself and you still don't want me like what more do you want from me so for this one i would recommend iron widow by zaron j zhao this is a science fiction fantasy type book um i would say it's sci-fi just because it like deals with like a outer alienated source coming in to the regular world like the world in this book and invading and like fighting and stuff like that this one is a very feminist pro book the main character's name is zishin and she becomes a concubine for a pilot basically there is a male pilot who pilots a chrysalis and fights the alien source that i mentioned earlier to do that he needs a female counterpart concubine to help power up the chrysalis but the only thing is that the female that helps the pilot the male pilot always dies the female always dies so all of these girls lives are being wasted and zishin finds herself in the predicament where her older sister has went to um basically bring money to her family so she went to be in a chrysalis her sister did not make it and zishin decides she's going to go and kill the male pilot that killed her sister this really hit me with this song because Zishin lives in a world where women are very oppressed like she even has her feet bound the like form of Chinese foot binding our main character has that in this book um so that makes her not able to walk without being in pain all the time and so Zishin has her entire life been a jigsaw been trying to please other people um there's a lot of things there's a lot of themes in this book that are kind of heavy especially dealing with women but it's just so um it's such a good feminist book like I, there's just so many beautiful quotes that i love that just like are amazing one line that i think is kind of cool is um it says if being more polite would keep you satisfied if being less insane would make you stay then i'd be more like my sister say thank you ma'am and mister to you for you 
I've changed every part of me until the puzzle pieces aren't me at all. I look in the mirror, now I'm just a jigsaw. Yeah, that's just hits me and hits Zishin. I feel like it is very on par with Iron Widow. I love this book. I gave it five stars, so definitely recommend. Okay, next up is Family Line. You've probably heard this one on TikTok. It's become like a um, kind of trend on TikTok, which is a very sad trend. This song is about a abusive father or an abusive family um, to somebody um, in their house. This one has the line, all that I did to try to undo it, all of my pain and all your excuses. I was a kid, but I wasn't clueless. Someone who loves you wouldn't do this. All of my past, I try to erase it, but now I see, would I even change it? Might share a face and share a last name, but we are not the same. And for this one, I wanna recommend The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. I do want to say heavy trigger warnings for sexual assault because the main character in this book, Eden, we actually follow her for four years of her life, so from freshman to senior year. And when Eden was young, when she was like right before she became a freshman, her brother's best friend sexually assaulted her and we we're just going through the process of her in her life in these four years, how she deals with it, when she comes to terms with certain things, when she decides to tell certain people, how it affects her relationships with literally everybody else around her. This one just definitely makes me think of Family Line because it's it's so hard hitting, it's so important of a book to be accessible to readers everywhere, um, especially young girls who may be in situations like this and find some consultation or some comfort in a book like this. But I would just definitely think you need to be in the right headspace to read it. And there is heavy trigger warnings, like I said, but it is all in all a good book. And I love the main character, Eden. I find a lot of strength in her and I think it's a really good book. Next, I wanna talk about Memories. This is definitely one of my all time favorite songs on Super 8. It's so freaking good. If you didn't, for any of the other ones, go listen to it. Please just go listen to Memories right now before I tell you about this next book because it's perfect for this book. Um, I'll read you like a little bit of the verses from Memories and then tell you what the book is. So, um, Memories is basically just about, sorry, I will read them, hold on. Um, memories is about you wanting somebody to stay in your past, to stay in your memories, but they keep coming back up and you just wish that they would just stay in your memories. So... The beginning of the song goes, it's been a couple months, that's just about enough time for me to stop crying when I look at all the pictures. Now I kind of smile, I haven't felt that in a while. It's late, I hear the doorbell ringing and it's pouring. I look, I open up that door, see your brown eyes at the entrance. You just want to talk and I can't turn away a wet dog. But please don't ruin this for me. Please don't make it harder than it already is. I'm trying to get over this. I wish that you would stay in my memories, but you showed up today just to ruin things. I want to put you in the past because I'm traumatized, but you're not letting me do that. Okay. <laughs> Memories is literally You've Reached Sam by Dustin Tao. This book is the reason I need therapy. Uh, I'm not kidding. Um, okay, it's really sad. Um, it is, yes, the book you've probably heard about. This book is about our main character named Julie who loses her boyfriend Sam until Sam calls her one day on the phone. She picks up and it is literally Sam but he's been dead for a while. So it's so heartbreaking. It's written so beautifully. I love this book so much. It was an immediate five star. I listened to it on audio, which I think also impacted how I consume the story. And I think the audiobook is really good and maybe you should try the audiobook. Um, I know some people have like problems with this book and I don't see it, but again, I didn't physically read it. I listened to it like all at once and it just was so atmospheric and so good. The cherry blossoms, the jean jacket, it's so great. I'm sorry, I'm kind of like turning into a mess at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, this is like so true because Julie is like trying to grieve and then she still has a piece of Sam on her phone when she can talk to him. So like to me it just fits so well. She wants him to stay in her memories but he's here and it's like bringing up the wounds and like how is she supposed to move forward with him still semi here? Like how? And so it's just so good. Okay. I kind of want to cry. <laughs> like I just want to cry right now <laughs> okay that's it i gotta go that's all i have for you guys um those are my recommendations for books based off of conan gray's super Rake album songs 
if you stay till the end of this video comment down below a red rose because the super egg theme and album cover is roses so perfect if you like this video give it a like and subscribe if you want to hang around for more videos like this if there's a album or certain songs or artists you want me to do a video like this and give you some recommendations on let me know in the comments and i can definitely do that for you guys but that's all i have to say if you want to help support the channel i have an amazon wish list if you want to send me a book so i can read it and make more content for you guys um if you want to send me a kofi and is, which is basically like buying me a coffee donating to my channel i don't know kofi's pretty cool you can check it out and i also have my social media link down below if you want to follow me on bookstagram twitter tiktok all that stuff but that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye three two one <laughs> arguing again arguing about something so simple make it clear tell me why you're running back to him feeling insecure feeling like there's more to your character every tear that you cry is worth it in